Planet Dolan. More than 99% of all life to exist on Earth is extinct. That's about 5 billion different species that now only exist as bones and fossils. But how many do we have evidence of? And how much can we really learn about them? Here are 15 prehistoric creatures we recently discovered. I'm Melissa, and today I'll be your narrator. Number 15. A Topodentatus. Reconstructing the real-life appearance of ancient creatures can be tricky when all you have to go on is some old pieces of rock. A 2014 fossil discovery of the Atopodentatus showed it to be one of the earliest marine herbivores, with a bizarre vertical zipper-like jaw. Another discovery in 2016 proved that the original skull had been misshapen, and that the swimming reptile actually had a sideways vacuum cleaner mouth for scooping up vegetation. Number 14. Micro Leo Attenbergi. While some fossils can be misleading, paleontologists are often able to reconstruct animals from very little evidence. A palate fossil found in Australia has led to a new species of marsupial being named. The micro lion is related to two larger marsupial lion species that live down under, the largest of which could almost match an African lion for power. The small carnivore was named after inspirational naturalist and broadcaster David Attenborough. Number 13 the Tully Monster. In 1958, a fossil was discovered in Illinois that baffled those who tried to define it. It appeared to show a squishy, worm-like mollusk, but with claws and a backbone. It wasn't until 2016 that researchers labeled it as a vertebrate related to the modern blood-sucking lamprey. The mystery fish, called Tully Monstrum, has a long proboscis with teeth at the end, and eyes on stalks like a shellfish. Number 12. Trioptychus primus First described in 2016, the Trioptychus primus was a dome-headed dinosaur, not dissimilar to the skull-bashing Pachycephalosaurus, except that the Trioptychus appeared over 100 million years before any of its helmeted lookalikes. This is an example of convergent evolution, where the same features in two species evolved independently, as the Trioptychus was not an ancestor of any other domed dinosaurs. It is named after the pit in its skull that gives the appearance of a third eye. Number 11. Four billion year old microfossils. At half the width of a human hair, the tiny tubular fossils found in Canada could be the oldest preserved life ever found. There is some debate over the age of the formations and whether they are indeed fossils, but the structures are composed of organic carbon isotopes and iron deposits that form around microbes when they die leaving an impression in the rock. Number 10. Viveron Haydeni. Imagine a crocodile with the powerful hind legs of a tiger. Pretty terrifying, right? An excavation in New Mexico quarry revealed a 5 meter long carnivore from the Triassic period, one of the largest predators from that era. Skull fragments and hip bone fossils point to a powerful reptile that predated most dinosaurs. The Viveron likely lived in open forest environments and on watery floodplains. Number 9. Linhanicus First described in 1993, the Linhanicus was a small bird-sized dinosaur that lived around China 80 million years ago. Related to other two-legged carnivores such as the T-Rex, the Linhanicus's strangest feature was its single clawed finger that stuck out either side of its chest. The little digit was either a useless vestigial limb or may have been used for digging up insects in its desert habitat. Number 8. Miocene Period Ape Before the discovery of the Pliobates Cataloni skeleton in Spain in 2011, paleontologists had assumed that both small ape species and humans evolved from a much larger common ancestor. This 5-kilo fruit eater lived over 11 million years ago, before the split of the human-like hominid apes and smaller gibbons suggesting that gibbons and pre-human apes existed side by side for a period. The pliobates fills another hole in the record of ape evolution. Number 7. Pegomastax africanus. With its name meaning thick-jawed, the Pegomastax was a dinosaur with a powerful combination of a bird-like beak and two long pairs of teeth. At 60 centimeters long, the little critter was mostly tail and neck. Preserved samples of similar species reveal that the dinosaur may have also been covered in long porcupine quills, 
The pigomastax was found in South Africa in the 60s, but not identified formally until 2012. Number 6. Webstroprion M. strongi Held in a museum in Toronto since the 90s, the fossil record of this giant worm was recently re-examined. It demonstrated the largest jaw of this worm type ever found, with other species having microscopic mouths. The ferocious predator measured up to a meter in length and attacked prey with its powerful jaws. The worm takes part of its name from a giant of death metal, Alex Webster from the band Cannibal Corpse. Number 5. Miros Raptor This carnivorous megaraptor was named and described in 2016 after a decade of research. The holotype, or example individual, comes from a juvenile and is estimated to have been 6.5 meters long, suggesting that adults were even bigger. The Miros Raptor would not have been much smaller than the T-Rex, and no doubt just as dangerous. Their hollow bones would have made them much lighter than other predators of a similar size. Number 4. Hallucigenia This worm is appropriately named, as it's something you might see after taking a few too many magic mushrooms. It comes from the Precambrian explosion, when life started to take on strange and bizarre forms under the sea. Hallucigenia fossils showed long, stilt-like spines on one side and stubby muscles on the other. Reconstructions in the 70s had the worms walking on the spines, while contemporary research has flipped it upside down, with the spines on top. It was also discovered that the supposed tail was, in fact, its head. Number 3. Epidexipteryx Research from 2008 reveals that the pigeon-sized Epidexipterus hui possessed elaborate tail feathers that helped a little dinosaur to balance on tree branches. Fossil records show intact vein feathers on the back of a creature that existed way before flight was possible, suggesting that early feathers were used for stability or maybe even decoration. The remains were found in the fossil-rich region of Doago in China. Number 2. Longus Kwama 80 million years before the first feathered dinosaurs appeared, the Longus Kwama ignis were sporting strange feather-like structures on its back in the mid-Triassic period. Previously believed to be plant leaves trapped in the fossil, recent studies show that the long equama has seven appendages coming from its spine that, while they cannot be called feathers, bear a structural resemblance that suggests an alternative origin for their avian descendants. Number 1. Jacolopterus For many decades, paleontologists have known about sea scorpions, large ancestors of spiders and scorpions that lived on the bottom of lakes and seas. But it wasn't until the discovery of an 18-inch claw piece in Germany that we knew just how large these monsters were. The Jacolopterus is estimated to have been around 2.5 meters long, the size of a large crocodile, and eaten anything it could catch, including its own species. Pretty crazy stuff, huh guys? What'd you think? Let us know in the comments, and I'll catch you guys next time.